Welcome to part two in a series of short videos that will get you started with your AudioBox i1 or i2 interface. There are six parts to this series. After watching part two, pick the next segment that fits your computer application, and then view part six to learn how to get started with Studio One Artist. With the AudioBox i1 and i2 interfaces, you can record and play back from a Mac or Windows computer or from an iPad. First, let's take a look at the hardware and what it can do. The i1 interface is equipped with a single microphone input on channel 1 and an instrument input on channel 2. i2 has two combination microphone, line, and instrument inputs. Use an XLR microphone cable to connect your mic to channel 1 of the i1 interface or either channel of the i2 for high quality studio condenser microphones. The microphone input on the i1 and both inputs on the i2 supports 48 volt phantom power. Before turning phantom power on, refer to your microphone specifications to ensure that it requires phantom power. For example, dynamic mics generally don't need phantom power, and some types, such as ribbon microphones, can be damaged if phantom power is applied. i2 has two combination microphone, line, and instrument inputs. To connect an instrument, plug a tip ring sleeve or tip sleeve quarter inch cable into the i1 channel 2 or either channel of the i2. By default, the i2 quarter inch input is set to accept line level signals. To use it as an instrument input for a guitar or bass, press the instrument button for that input. Connect monitoring headphones to the headphone jack on either i-series interface. On the rear panel of the i1 and i2, you'll find the balanced quarter inch monitor outputs. This is where you'll connect your powered monitor speakers. A USB type B port provides bus power and is the host connection to your Mac or Windows computer. When using an iPad, use this port to deliver power to the interface using the included USB cable and the USB power supply from your iPad. The USB type A device port is used to directly connect to an iPad. The i2 has MIDI in and MIDI out ports to connect to external MIDI devices, such as a keyboard or control surface, so you can record and play back MIDI. Operating your interface is easy. Each input has an independent gain knob to adjust the input level. A signal present light indicates whether your input is active. And a clip light warns you if the input signal is too loud. To set your levels, play or sing, and adjust the gain knob so that the red clip light doesn't come on. To avoid damage to your speakers and ears, be sure to keep the gain turned down when plugging in and unplugging microphones or instrument jacks. The AudioBox i-Series has an analog low latency monitor path, so you can overdub while monitoring playback from your computer or iPad without hearing annoying delay. The i1 interface has a direct button for low latency monitoring. This will give you a 50-50 mix of the direct input signal and the playback signal. The i2 interface has a monitor mix knob that allows you to adjust the mix of the direct input signal and the playback signal. A large volume knob adjusts the main output level for your speakers. A small volume knob above the headphone jack adjusts your headphone level. This concludes part two of the i-Series setup video. The next three parts cover using your interface with a Mac computer, a Windows computer, and an iPad.